All right, so today me and Maya are on the river. I've been wanting to do a bunch of red belly fishing, but we've got so much rain lately, all the rivers are just flooded out the banks. So what we did is we came down to this river close to the gulf where the tide kind of affects it. So it ain't too bad now when you come down here. I don't know if they're biting or not. I ain't heard anybody else fishing, so we're gonna give it a shot. Maya's gonna bass fish. He has something against brim fishing for some reason. So I'll be the only one brim fishing. Hopefully I can catch a mess. Whoa, there's plenty of structure around here. Plenty, bunch of trees, random limbs. Yeah, that's because we're throwing so close to the bank. It's just because it's so high of a tide. The water line would be down a little bit if it was lower. Oh, there's a fish. Got him, another red belly. Hey, I don't mind if I just catch one every once in a while. He's a little on the small side though. What? Just a little bit. It might have been he's above average. I uh, broke his gills. I'm gonna keep him. He's bleeding out his gills. He's on the verge of being too small, but oh well. I will get it. That's not where I wanted, but it's close enough. I could not make that cast to save my life. Farther away. You don't have to break that one, buddy. Oh, I got a fish too. Look at that. That's why I needed to make that cast, Maya. That's why everything was stopping me. These brim are small. Hope we get into a little bit bigger ones. Let's keep it out. You think so, Maya? Yeah. I think so. If we start catching bigger ones, we're going to have a few little ones mixed in, but... They are red bellies, though. I like it. I like catching red bellies. That's what I want to catch. Just want a little bit more size on them. You can't break line in hey, Maya's actually brim fishing now, and we ain't even been here that long. He gave up on bass fishing quick. Let's see if he's any better at brim fishing than he is bass fishing. Oh, you got him. That a little red belly? I think stumpy. A little stumpy? Nope. It's a little red belly. So they're all gonna be the same exact little tiny size, Maya. He's small. I don't think so. I think he's about the same size as uh, the ones I've been putting in there, ain't he? I don't know. It looks kinda small. Maybe Look in the cooler and see how small they are. If he's smaller, throw him back. <laughs> a little too small. With how the bite is, we already got three. He went in there. You know, yeah. Maya said we're keeping him. It's the only one he's got. He ain't we ain't taking prisoners. The yellow flies are worse, I think. I think so too. They're just fast they and they hurt. Elbows. They hurt so much worse. Just because of how much they hurt when they oh. bite. Uh oh. Red belly? Yeah, yeah another. Keep. That's another keeper red belly. Maya, you gonna outfish me, buddy? You really live too fast. Well that time I was the boat was drifting to it. Another one. There ain't no big ones, but that's a. I need them all to be that size, and I'd be fine. I'm not a big fan of the tiny ones we've been catching. But he bounced under this deck. <laughs> I don't know. We definitely couldn't fit them in any of our boats. Not even we don't have to fit them in a boat. Like three-piece rods. Mm -hmm. Won't be that bad. And if beach fishing, you don't use boats. It's the only thing they're good for is bank fishing. I don't know why you want to stand in the boat with a 20 foot rod holding it. Oh, I got one. <laughs> Red belly. Yeah, he's going to get kept because he swallowed it. That is a baby though. But he swallowed it good. Yep, he's bleeding already. I ain't even took the hook out yet. He's going in the cooler. These little tiny dudes, man, we're going to have to... <laughs> we're going to really have to pick at them to eat these guys. Some of them anyway. They keep swallowing them. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a decent one, Maya. Stumpy. That's the biggest one so far, and it's a stump knocker. Well, I don't know, Maya's red belly about the same size. This one's a little thicker. Small brim today. I really hope we catch a few roosters along the way. It's not looking that promising, though. Still got a decent mess of fish. Can't complain too much. Audio and of our whole fishing trip. Freaking six hour video, entire fishing trip. <laughs> uncut versions, uncut. Oh, I got a fish and I'm trying to get a little boat. 
Red belly. Thanks for staying on there for a while, dude. That's a bright red colored red belly. Nice. Not a bad one, not a great one. Oh yeah, no, dude, I tasted it too and I noticed it when I seen a leg on it. I was like, oh, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Got them. They're definitely biting a little better. My last three casts in a row. Caught one, missed one, and caught another one. Red bellies, too. That one's good enough. You gonna put them in the cooler for me? You gonna stand up? Now we're getting a decent mess. Their size is starting to get a little better. We might regret keeping a few of them little nuggets. I will never regret keeping them. Nah, it don't. It won't hurt nothing. A couple of them swallowed the hook anyway. That's what you get. That's what you get. Instant. No, it's just one of them like cramps where it's your legs in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Yeah, I got, I get that. Oh, got him. That's a good one too. Let's go. That's a nice red belly. We're getting to a little better sized fish, my. I'm liking it, and they're all red bellies. That's what we came here to catch. And you're throwing the lightest weight bass rig possible. But still can sling that song. Oh, are you? Yeah. You can sling it. That's what I like about braids. It's... I can throw this a mile. I'm also but using a Senko, though. Not accurately. <laughs> Was that just snatching out of a tree? Was it a fish? A tree. Oh, okay. It just scared me. Because I seen it coming for me again, and I just couldn't go into the old coat. Oh, God, I had too much slack. Oh, Lord, way too much slack. That's a good one. That's a good one, Mike. I about couldn't catch up with the dang slack, man. Throwing it so far. Is that a rooster? Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Nine inches. I don't know why I wanted to measure. I feel like they look way bigger when you're catching small ones all day. That's a good one, though. That's a bass. You got him? He's in a tree, though. You got him in a tree? I had him. You lost him? I think so. Everything's starting to bite the later it gets. I had just missed a bass. He switched back to bass fishing. I don't know if I missed him. I think I did, though. Most of them was in front of the houses, if I remember correctly. But I was catching brim down there, too. I can throw in, like, the house mess like I did last time, too. Yeah, there's a boat up here. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Another red belly. That's not, not a bad red belly. They fishing too. Watch out. Got some company. I mean, there's probably 12, 13 in there. Oh, they sent cat lines. Speaking of that, I bet you wouldn't knock over a ballerina very easily. Oh, that's a good one. You just ripped him clean out the boat, having the randomest conversation. <laughs> Maya keeps jumping around in the boat and trying to knock me down. <laughs> that's where that conversation came from. It's a good fish, though. It's a good red belly. Yeah, I really don't think that they would have as much issues Balling keeping in. their balance. They're probably pretty good at it. I told you that was a fish messing with yours, Maya. Wasn't that? Let's keep a red belly. Look at you go, Maya. You got three fish in the boat. That's like rare. Ah. I threw in a tree. That's not rare at all. That happens all the time. Extraordinarily. <laughs> at least not, huh? Gotta leave some for seed. What? I missed a big one. That's, that's my thing. Yeah, you did have one big one get off your hook. That was. Oh! I can't catch up with him. Oh, that's a good one. Maybe. It's a nice one. He, he ran toward the middle. That is a good one. That's a good one. Hey, this is a this is a good day of fishing today. Second biggest one I caught so far. That cooler's looking fine. And they're all red bellies too, besides one stump knocker. It's nice. Is 
that a big stumpy? That's a nice stump knocker, man. Nice one. Right off the edge of the boat, too. Let me see. Cool one. That's only the second non-red belly we got in the cooler. You see, I threw fire. I threw it where I wanted it. I threw it where you wanted it. Yes. I threw it where the same that time. They're getting bad again. The hair doesn't help any? I don't know if it does or not, because I haven't had not had it. You got a fish, though. <laughs> it's a red belly. It's a good one. Yeah. Keeper. Not a good one, though. But a keeper. Hey, that was a pretty good day. That's the best day of red belly fishing we've had in a long time. I think we got like 17 or 18 fish total, and all of them but two are red bellies. We started off catching a bunch of small ones, but we ended up with a few decent ones. Really no, no real giant ones, but I I had a few around nine, eight, nine inches. Not bad at all. Good mess of fish. Hope y'all liked it. Thank you for watching.